All right, back for another beer review, and today I will be reviewing yet another beer from the other half brewing company, and they're out of both Brooklyn and Rochester, New York. And this is their double dry hopped rock showers, the Sabro variant. So this is an IPA that comes in at 7.4% alcohol by volume. No IBUs list in time of review. This can is approximately three and a half weeks old. So uh, they have their base hop showers, which I believe they've always brewed at their Brooklyn facility. So they decided to come out with rock showers. Now, I've had a couple different double dry hopped versions of their uh, hop showers. I had their Citra Lupulin variant and the Sabro variant. But I believe the base uh, hop showers is brewed with Citra and Amarillo, while this Rock Showers, the base is Citra and Galaxy, and they're double dry hopping it with Sabro. So this is gonna be similar to the um, double dry hopped Hop Showers Sabro variant, with the main difference being that this is brewed in Rochester, that one was in Brooklyn, and this one also uses Citra as a base hop, or it's not Citra, sorry, it uses Citra and Galaxy, while that one uses Citra and Amarillo. So uh, I reviewed, like I said, the double dry hopped uh, Citra Lupulin powder and the Sabro uh, hop showers, so I thought I would give this one a go. Should be different enough to justify a another review of it, but I really want to review this because this is, you know, Rochester brewed, and uh, yeah, I can't get over the, sorry, East Bloomfield, shout out to Dan, uh, but Rochester as well. Anyway, yeah, pouring out like your typical, you know, New England style IPAs for sure. Um, yeah, this glass isn't the best to show off the color, but let's just say honey orange for probably the 58th time from uh, other half beer. But definitely honey orange uh, had like a two and a half finger head. Uh, you won't see it through the, the logo here. Um, but yeah, it definitely has a two and a half off white, like two and a half finger of an off white creamy um, looking head. It just, yeah, it's, man, it's a new and style IP. Not much more to say about it. Let's get a nose. So I'm getting a little bit of that coconut you get from Sabro, but the base is screaming Citra and Galaxy. Oh yeah, crushed pineapple, passion fruit. There is like this big citrus blast of like tangerine and, and orange, more of like a juicy component. A touch of peach. Now that coconut's a little bit bigger as I went back for the second aroma. Yeah, so they're double dry hopping this one, like I said, with Sabro. And it's not surprising because the nose is screaming coconut. Um, and usually when it comes to double dry hopping, the aroma is the key thing. And I can tell because there's a lot of coconut here. But aren't, it's actually giving me pina colada vibes mixed in with like a little bit of like a, like a tart passion fruit. And then like I said, that orange tangerine juice. A little bit of like a herbaceousness too. Not really dank, but just like an herbal component. Man, that smells awesome. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to like these. <laughs> I'm going to like these beers way more than a lot of people. Sabro for me is just slowly becoming one of my favorite hops. I've heard people just not like Sabro. I love it. I love coconut. And I imagine if you hate coconut, you do not care for this hop because it is producing a coconut uh, presence that is kind of unmistakable. I mean, it's there. Body in this one is 7.4%. It's like medium body. The mouthfeel, it's other half. It's soft. It's smooth. It's creamy. Probably using, you know, oats, wheat, things of that nature to produce this. There is no lactose in here. It's pina colada. It's coconut. It's it's crushed, sweeter pineapple. And that's kind of the first half of the palate. As it passes through the palate, that herbaceous, like, yeah, there's an herbaceousness that kind of hits midway through the palate. And then mixing in with that is like a juicy, but also like zesty orange and tangerine uh, kind of component that's... Uh, breaking up that that pina colada vibe. It finishes to the sweeter side of things, but it does have a slight dry finish. I wouldn't even say semi-dry, slight dry finish and slight bitterness. This is not really all that bitter, but there's a little bit on the back end. I, yeah, it's, it's hard for me not to be biased when it comes to Sabro Hops just because me personally, and again, all my ratings and how I feel about our beer are personal. It's not to style. I just fucking love Sabro Hop. So I had an idea that I really like this one and I end up loving it because it's fucking delicious. Trademark. Not really. I'm going to guess that I didn't look at the untapped score. Actually, I've not even 
looked at anybody who has, uh, you know, a lot of times when I review the beers, like I'll just see untapped scores from people or people that are checking in. I kind of get an idea, you know, a week or two before I actually review the beer of, you know, my friends drinking it or just whatever. I don't remember anyone checking this in. And if they did, I certainly don't remember what they said about it. Um, I'd imagine this will probably fall in like the, you know, like a lot of other half beers between 4.15 and say 4.3. But I'm going to like this more than the average person, so keep that in mind. Double dry hop, rock showers with uh, the, the Sabro variant from other half, low 4.5 out of 5. I'm going to go 4.45 4. out of 5. It's, it's fucking, this is, this is me. This is a me beer. This is a beer that fits what I like. This is a beer that's really tasty. And I appreciate that it's 7.4%, really not getting any booze or anything. Uh, maybe a slight warming into the chest, but 7.4%, I really don't expect that, especially from other half beers, like sub 8% other half beers really almost have no booze character. But this is just me. This is this is coconut, this is pina colada, and that's what I like, and that's why I like this beer. Uh, price point and availability. Price point was $18 a four pack, so $4.50 a can all day, every day for me. For you, maybe not for me, without question. Um, and the availability, I picked this up at a mobile cannon release and brewed and bottled. As I am recording this um, video tomorrow, uh, they're actually going to be doing a um, another mobile cannon release at brewed and bottled. So that's three straight weeks at brewed and bottled. That other half is getting product to them here in Buffalo and Lewiston specifically. So most of their stuff is brewery only. The Brooklyn location, the East Bloomfield slash Rochester location. But they are getting a lot of their stuff out there, whether it's on you know draft or in cans at mobile can releases all across New York State. So if you live in New York, you live in a bigger city, you should be able to find a lot of their beers. Not maybe this specific one at the time of review, because that or at not time of review, I should say at the time of post this. By the time I post this, this beer will probably be you know six to seven weeks old. So you probably won't see this one, but they might brew it again. Who knows? They rebrew a lot of beers and they have rotating offerings and whatnot. So let me just say that if you live in New York, you live in closer to one of the bigger uh, cities, you should be able to get other half at some point. So yeah, uh, not much more to say about it. It's pina colada meets like juicy citrus along with an herbaceousness. And it's just, it's, it's a delicious beer. It really is. Yeah, this is a really good beer and uh, not much more to say about it. So I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. And until the next one, cheers.